hello YouTube and welcome to another Windows tutorial so in this video we'll review a very interesting program by Microsoft called Power BI so already let's get started so actually Power BI is a product from Microsoft that helps you to analyze your data so in order to see what it can do let's take an example so here on my desktop I have CSV file so if I open it using Notepad++ so you can see just a bunch of rows that contains some information about airports worldwide so here I have the airport ID, the name, the city, the country and other technical stuff like uh, the location of the airport its latitude, longitude and altitude okay so let's say that you will want to actually analyze this file in a pretty good manner. So in order to do that, we can use Power BI Desktop. Okay. So all you have to do actually is to go to your Google and type Power BI Desktop. It has a free version. So you just click on this link here. So you can download the free version from the Microsoft site here. Okay. So once downloaded, it's pretty easy to install. You just follow the steps and you get it installed in your PC. So here I have a desktop shortcut. So I'll launch it. Okay. So here we go. So of course, Power BI can work with a lot of uh, source data. It can handle CSV file like uh, the text file that we have here but it can also handle multiple databases so if you have a file in access database on SQL server or whatever database you can work with it so here just to show you a pretty nice example I will use this file here on my desktop to show you what we can do with it okay so here we go once uh, launched we can go directly to import our data so here you, there is a little icon that you can click on it it's called get data so if I click on it I will have a multiple bunch of sources so I can use data in Excel file or in SQL server database or other text files so me I will use this text CSV file okay so I will click on it and I will choose my CSV file here. Here we go. I will open it. So here it displays actually a preview of the file. So here you have the airport ID, the name, the city, the country, the latitude and other stuff. Okay. So let's say that I want to work with just some columns. I don't want all the columns to work with. So I can edit this data here. So I will edit and it will launch another window that I can actually here rename or delete the column that I don't want to use. So for example, I don't want to use the airport ID, so I will remove it. I will keep the name of the airport, the city, the country. I will delete this technical columns here. I don't want them. I will keep the latitude, the longitude, altitude I don't want it so I can remove it I can remove the other columns they are not interesting for me okay okay now I kept this uh, five columns here so I can close and apply so the data will get imported to my software here which is Power BI actually BI stands for business intelligence okay so here you can see your data here if you click on this icon here called data you can see the table that you have imported from your CSV file okay so here we go so now in order to create or analyze data with reports I will just click on this icon here called report okay now let's display actually a table that contains the data 
so I will click this new visual here okay and here on the left you can see your table airports and the different columns it contains so I can choose for example all the columns if I want so let's choose the name and the uh, city country and latitude and longitude okay and I can click on this table here just to show the data in the table view here we go you can see all the data here that I have imported let's say that we want to filter by country okay so I can actually create a new visual here on my left and I will add actually a country because I want to filter by country okay but I have also to click this slicer here which has a little uh, filter so now I have all the countries and if I click on any country it will actually just filter my table according to this country so let's for example choose for example let's say Germany okay here we go I click and here we go I have only the airports that are located in Germany so I can use here my filter to choose only Germany okay I have also a nice feature which calls map so let's create another visual here we go so I can resize it I can put it whenever I want and I will choose for example let's choose for example that city here we go now as you can see it has only filtered the airports located in Germany as you can see here on this map okay so of course you have to be connected to the net in order to display only the airports located in Germany and if you over over uh, actually uh, circle here you can see the name of the airport so this is a very interesting program that you can use in order to analyze or get reports from your data let's choose for example France just to see if I can get other results okay so I'll choose France here here we go it has filtered only the airport in France in my right here and on the map it only displays the airport located in France so of course you have some other things here that appears in other countries but uh, this is due to the actually file which which is not accurate because I just downloaded from the internet so it will contain some uh, some false data but in general it has chosen only the airports that are located in France so here you have a bunch of visualizations that you can choose from here I have just showed you the basic of using this powerful tool called Power BI from Microsoft okay so that was just an introduction to this beautiful reporting tool from Microsoft as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye